Hi there. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create multiple hoopings with the cloth setter. The cloth setter is an amazing tool to use to create uh, embroideries and place them exactly where you need them to be. I created extra impact with a pair of pre-purchased uh, drapery panels with some embroidery. And right here, I'm going to show you another project that you can do if you buy a third panel. You can use the uh, you can use it to make a table runner and other accessories for your house and be all coordinated with pillows and things like that. So for here, this is a table runner. So I'm working with the MC eleven thousand, and I use the straight stitch to create the hems on the edges. And then when I get that all set. You draw your center line, or you can use an iron to press it out. And then I've already stitched one macro hoop design here, and then use the cloth setter to put the second one on top, and I'm going to show you how to do it with the third one on the bottom. So you work with a paper template that you print it out, and I've got my center lines marked, and we've got holes punched here, and I've traced it out so that I can place it accurately on the center line here, and match it up with the center line on the bottom, and then you use a disappearing marker to mark your points and the center point. And then you would take that with your center points here and then place it over on the cloth. So this cloth setter here is for the 11,000, but there are also cloth setters available for all the embroidery machines that Janome has. So how it works is you line up the crosshairs here with the dots that you've drawn and your center line. And once you have that set, you take the other part of your hoop and then lay it in there. And this makes hooping easy and you get your placement exactly where you need it to be. Just like that. That's how simple it is. And you find the screws underneath and tighten it up. Now the macro hoop is great for creating large designs and you can get large impact as well. So once that is done, you unhook it from here and then transfer your fabric to the machine. And hook it in the same way we did before on the cloth setter. And the foot down, and the machine, the design is already ready to go. Then press start, and it moves to position, and it'll stitch exactly where you wanted it to be. So now the 11,000 has finished stitching the first half of the macro hoop design and the way that this works is with the macro hoop the designs are stitched in two halves. Now because we've calibrated the top half with the cloth setter, all we need to do is loosen that and then slide the hoop to its second position, lock it in and press start. And it'll finish the rest of the design. And then you'll have these fabulous long interlocking designs. And it's so easy with the MC11000 and the cloth setter.